Hello, you beautiful people. Today I wanted to talk about some players to keep an eye on this week. So, as I'm recording, this is currently week 8 of the NBA season. And these are mainly going to be guys whose fantasy values might be affected by trades or injuries. So I'm highly recommending you keep an eye on their situation just so you know what fantasy decisions to make. So before we begin, feel free to like and subscribe for NBA and fantasy content. And I actually just made a Discord for the more serious fantasy owners that want to discuss any NBA or fantasy stuff, so feel free to check that out if you're interested. And there's a really great community in there, so definitely highly recommend that. And with that being said, let's just jump right into the video. So starting with the player in the thumbnail, it's actually going to be in the wake of the D-Rose trade to the Knicks. And we're kind of going to look at this from both sides, the Pistons and the Knicks, just to see who's getting better value for fantasy, who's getting worse. And we're going to start off with the Knicks side of things, because I think that has a more significant impact. And... I mean, yeah, I mean, the main guys that I think this might hurt is going to be Randall and RJ. I don't think it'll hurt Randall too much because they seem pretty set on running their offense through them. But in terms of RJ Barrett, man, like, it, it just kind of depends what the Knicks want to do, honestly. Like, if they want to turn it into the Derrick Rose show, then that's really going to hurt RJ's numbers. But if Derrick Rose is okay with kind of taking a back seat, I mean, we know how much Tibbs loves D. Rose. So I definitely keep an eye on RJ, D. Rose. I keep an eye on most of the Knicks, honestly, because this is going to significantly alter their rotations, their shots, their usage rates, everything, really. It's a really big trade for them, so, I mean, I wouldn't panic trade RJ. I saw someone mentioning, should I drop him? I mean, I don't think you should drop him right away. I mean, that's kind of a split decision that you're not really making and thinking that through. So, I definitely watch a few games, and then if it looks like Derrick Rose is going to be taking over, then I think RJ could be looking at a few more waiver wires. I mean, yeah, I mean, we all know with D-Rose, it's the injury history, too. So even if he does start turning into more of an option than RJ, there's always that chance that he's going to hurt himself. So if you are planning on picking up D-Rose, you got to be aware that that's a concern. And, yeah, let's just go ahead and look at it from the Pistons' side. I mean, I mean, the Pistons are just looking rough anyway. So I think this is definitely going to help DeLon Wright's case. If he's on your waiver wire, I definitely keep an eye on him. I think he has a lot of room to grow as a fantasy player now that the Pistons literally have, like, no one to play the point guard now that Rose and Hayes are out. And, yeah, I mean, if you have Grant, they'll probably help his numbers too just because more shots for him. And, I don't know, I feel like maybe Josh Jackson could become a pickup. So, from the Pistons side, I'd say keep an eye on Josh Jackson and, yeah, Josh Jackson, DeLon Wright. And then for the Knicks, I'd definitely keep an eye on R.J. Barrett. Peyton might become a droppable player as well. And then... Randall's value might decrease, but I don't think it'll be that significant. And with that being said, let's just move on to the next players that I think you should keep an eye on. Just real quick, one person I actually forgot to mention, and I forgot that Dennis Smith Jr. is going to the Pistons in this deal, but I don't think he's really going to be relevant for a fantasy format for a while. I just don't think he's ready as a player yet, so I definitely wouldn't consider picking him up. I mean, maybe he'll prove me wrong. Like I said, these are just players to keep an eye on for the next few games and see how they're looking. And yeah, that's going to do it for the players on the Pistons and the Knicks. So this next one's actually about the Kyle Lowry trade rumors, and you guys are welcome for picking this picture, by the way, give you something to look at, but if you're a Raptors fan, this one really hurts, but at the same time, you kind of get it because, like, you guys aren't going to be winning a championship anytime soon, unfortunately, and, I mean, you already got your championship, so, like, you can't be too mad about it, but I think it's time to move on for Kyle Lowry. There's a lot of trade rumors right now. I saw a thing that said his house was actually listed, and that's just not a good sign if you're considering that he's going to stay a Raptor. For his fantasy value, it depends where he gets traded, honestly. Like, I feel like if he is going to get traded, it's going to be to a contender, so that's definitely going to decrease his fantasy value. But, yeah, I mean, you can't really go ahead and panic trade him just because, like, if he does end up staying, then you kind of look like a clown now that he is sort of bouncing back after that slow start to the season. I mean, when, if he does get traded, I don't really know what the Raptors would get in return. I can't really picture this, like, drastically changing the value of anyone off of waivers. I mean, like... Like maybe Norman Powell, but like he's typically playing behind OG, but now if Lowry's gone, they might have to change things up. So that could definitely open up a few more minutes for Powell, so i definitely keep an eye on that one. I mean, the Raptors already kind of have a pretty set rotation. They sort of have like their Siakam, Freddie Van Vliet, Baines, or Boucher, and then like OG Ananobi, so there's not a lot of players that I think are going to become relevant off of the waiver wire off of this trade, so I guess if I had to give you someone to keep an eye on, it would just be like the entirety of the Raptors starting lineup. Their value is going to increase. As to how much, I'm not exactly sure, but yeah, and then for a waiver wire player, just to like give a shout out, maybe Norman Powell would be someone to keep an eye on in, in this situation if Lowry does get moved. And also, it, definitely keep an eye on Kyle Lowry himself just to see like how his fantasy value is going to change. Like For instance, if he goes to like Philadelphia, I mean, that's really hurting his value. So yeah, if he does get traded somewhere like there, then I'd definitely try to move him as soon as possible while his value might still be a little high to like an unsuspecting fantasy manager that isn't too aware of what's going on. And with that being said, let's just move on to the next player. 
So now we have the first player of the video that's value is kind of impacted by injuries, and it's going to be PG-13 or, you know, playoff B as we all know and love. But, yeah, there's been reports about his injury that it's a lot more serious than what the Clippers are making it sound like. It could be like a potentially season-ending injury. So that's why you should keep an eye on this one because, like, we don't really know the severity of this one unless we're, like, a doctor or something. We don't know all of the details. So definitely don't, like, panic and trade him for, like, absolute next to nothing because, like, we don't know how long he's going to be out. But... This is definitely a situation to monitor, and if he does end up being out for an extended period of time, I don't know, I'd probably go ahead and pick up Lou Will after a few games if you keep an eye on him, because he's going to have to turn into their like, secondary score after Kawhi. They don't really have anyone else that can like do it efficiently, and this might make Reggie Jackson a bit more relevant for fantasy. I can't really picture anyone outside of those two having a jump in their fantasy numbers, so hopefully PG's okay. I'd hate to see this happen to him, but... If he does end up missing the entirety of the season, two players I'd keep an eye on would be Lou Will and Reggie Jackson. And, I mean, maybe Zubac, if you really wanted to stretch it, he sometimes has a good stretch of games where he gets a lot of minutes and puts up some really efficient fantasy numbers. And, yeah, let's just move on to the next players. And, lastly, we have one that seems like it's just been going on for, like, ever now. I mean, ever since they traded for Jared Allen. But the player I'd keep an eye on is going to be Andre Drummond. There's Like with Lowry, there's a lot of trade rumors going around with him. I don't really see any reason why the Cavs wouldn't move him. His value's really high right now, and they already kind of have their center for the future in Allen. So, yeah, in like my mind, it doesn't really make any sense because like Andre Drummond's contract does expire soon, so you might as well get something for him. You already have a, a future backup center that you probably should be giving minutes to right now. And if Andre Drummond does get moved, I mean, Jared Allen's just going to turn into a fantasy god like he always does when there's nobody playing in front of him. So... I definitely keep an eye on Jared Allen if Andre Drummond does get moved. I just keep an eye on this whole situation, man, because, like, the Cavs are just in a really weird deal right now. Like, they might trade Love, they might trade Drummond, and th that's going to, like, significantly affect the fantasy values of a few players. Like, Larry Nance is out for a bit right now, but if Love gets traded, that's going to help his value. If Drummond gets traded, it's going to help Allen's value, like I said. So the Cavs as a whole are just, like, a situation to keep an eye on just because, like, if they make some trades, that's significantly going to shake things up, and you want to be able to take advantage of that. And yeah, that's actually going to conclude the video on players that I would watch this week. It's currently week 8, just to reiterate that. And I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you all have a great rest of your day.